family originated from uh, Tylertown, Mississippi, the Fulton Bears. Uh, eventually, all of them migrated to Franklinton and then to New Orleans. I came to New Orleans when I was six years old uh, and stayed with my mother. Uh, prior to that, I stayed with my grandmother uh, from age mm, one until six. So upon moving to New Orleans uh, with my mother, we lived on a street called Dryer Street, Barone Street, and the Uptown area. And I wanna say until I was about maybe 12 or 13 years old, when they had a hurricane and after that. So I stayed there until maybe about 17, 18 years old, for about five years. Uh, I attended um, Live Oak Junior High there. Um, and from there, junior high, I went to um, a college preparatory school, which was McDonald number 35. My family wasn't uh, able to send me to any of the private schools. So I took um, the leave and registered myself into uh, McDonald 35, which I think that was like the turning part in my life. I did get pregnant early um, in my senior high. And uh, as opposed to going off to college, I had to go off to work. And I got married at a young age. Um, me and my husband, we, um, at that time, we moved into our own little apartment. He had a job, I had a job. It was a big struggle, uh, being a young parent, going to work, not having, um, you know, transportation, having to catch the bus, uh, to work, back home. Um, but I've always wanted to do better. So eventually, I registered myself into uh, Xavier University. I came through that process. You know, I didn't make the A's and I didn't make B's, but I kind of, I made some B's and some C's. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I was able to finish, um, I was able to finish and was able to get into the nursing program. It just, it takes me a lot to learn. So the way I, studied was I uh, would take notes in the class, I would record the teacher, uh, I would come home and I would re-write uh, my notes and once I rewrote the test I would cry like a baby because I was so excited just to be able to pass, just to be able to get closer to my goals and um, you know everybody said let's go drink and it was no it was time for me to go study again. I'm like this is two years, four years, I need to just focus in on this. So I passed, and then I got a job working at, um, at the hospital, at Cherry Hospital, that was back in the day. I graduated 1993, and um, I started, me and my friends, we started at, at the hospital, and um, it was, as soon as we graduated, they put us. They put me in charge. It was like maybe after my after six months after my orientation. It's like okay, you're in charge. I'm like in charge. How you gonna put me? In? I don't know anything. And some of the nurses there had master's degrees, doctor degrees, and. Uh, the BS and I'm still having my associate degree. So I said, well, I work hard. Let me just apply for it, uh, the position. And ironically, nobody wanted to work the night shift. So they said, well, Pat, you know, you go ahead. If you want the position, I'll give it to you. That was my boss. We have the nurses out there with the master degrees, doctorates, and they make it mean the manager. But then I'm like, okay, so I stayed in the office and closed the doors and I tried to learn. Every time I went to meet, I would just write everything down. I make a big heading for everything. What I'm trying to say, I just always went the extra mile. You know, 
what I didn't know, I would ask. If I didn't know anything in a meeting with everyone else, I wouldn't talk. I would just listen. So eventually, um, you know, I kept that. I had the position for a long time, being a manager. Then eventually they came in and they started calling us directors of units. Directors, when we got into, we got a brand new building, thankful to um, Katrina, you know, I must say, brand new building. So we got our own unit. And, um, and I worked up there in the unit. And things started to change, and it was time for me to retire. 